Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and last week, Dr. Robotnik sent me this package, where he gave me an important mission to build the ugliest version of Sonic out of Lego bricks provided in the box as I can, but make it with a Dr. Robotnik twist on it. Kind of make it look more like the perfect handsome face of Eggman himself, rather than just a blue rodent right on the front here. And so, today I'm going to outline my plan for what I'm going to build with the bricks inside this box to make our Lego Sonic a little bit more like Eggman. So inside the box, I've been provided with the Lego set mech version of Dr. Robotnik, which you can see right here. This is the official Lego set for Eggman's mech. But he's also given me an assortment of random pieces to basically just build my own custom creation out of. The only guidelines, it must be some sort of depiction of Sonic, but completely made over in a Dr. Eggman style flair. And so we have a ton of standard 2x4, 2x2, 1x4, all sorts of regular blue bricks here. We have a whole bunch of Dr. Robotnik color scheme type of things. We have lots of little saws and mechanical pieces and of course lots of bricks in his color scheme of the amazing black, red, and white. We also have some other details from Sonic here. We have some tan macaroni pieces, we've got some curved pieces, a lot of interesting elements to be used here. And lastly, there's just a ton of brown, maybe a bit of terrain that he could be standing on, or just internal structure. Now it is my job to use just those pieces in the bags to build something that looks like Sonic, but with an Eggman makeover. So let's hit the drawing board and figure out what we're gonna make. Now before I build any sort of custom LEGO creation, I like to know what kind of pieces I'm working with. Now it's pretty obvious that this bag has a ton of standard blue bricks, this bag has a ton of standard brown bricks, but I'm much more interested in what is included here. I can see this bag has a ton of really interesting parts. We have the macaroni elements introduced for the Disney Mickey and Minnie buildable figures in tan. We have some ball joints. I see some Technic flywheels in here. A lot of the curved elements, like the type of curves introduced in 2002 for LEGO Star Wars. And then we have what looks to be a lot of the pieces for maybe even Dr. Eggman's or Dr. Robotnik's flying machine from the largest Lego Sonic set. There's even a sealed bag inside of here. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and open these up and really get the chance to take stock of what we're working with. Again, this video is just a planning phase, so I won't be putting anything together. I really just kind of want to get a sense of what types of pieces we have here. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. These curved pieces could be really good for the quills on the back of Sonic's head if we want to kind of capture that quill shape. We have a lot of mixel joints or mini ball joints, which I could potentially use for the actual attachment points of the quills themselves. We have large printed eye elements that I could use for Sonic. I really like the idea of using these macaroni elements as arms, but maybe, here's a cool idea, instead of having just the regular Sonic arms, we could have his arms but with Eggman robotic machines at the end, like a Razor Buzzsaw or something else completely different that I can see for some of the parts in here. Looking around here, we have some ball joints. We could have some Bionicle-esque ball joint action here. There's some great quarter curved pieces like the ones introduced for the NASA shuttle. We also have some of these Nexo Knights curved and pointed tile elements in plain blue, which is actually a pretty rare color. I honestly don't remember what sets this appeared in in blue. So a lot of interesting colors included here as well as some tan archway elements. All sorts of cool and unique pieces that I personally cannot wait to get building with. I'm already getting a lot of ideas, so let's try to hone down what our final idea is going to be and go from there. Of course, I want to open the Eggman bag itself because this is really all the parts that I have available to make it more like Eggman. We have this clear bag of just random pieces, so I think this is probably one of the small bags from one of the other sets, but... Looking around in here, we have like a buzzsaw piece, some more mixel joints. Of course, we have some clear windscreens and stuff. It would be really cool to be able to replicate some sort of a rounded Eggman glasses in effect in here because obviously he has the very distinctive glasses that we want to replicate. And my idea is to make a brick-built Sonic with Eggman weapons on the end of the hands and a gigantic mustache across his face. I think that's a good idea to start with, but of course, I really do like to improvise while I'm building, and I might come up with something entirely different in the build process itself. We'll just have to wait and see. 
Okay, I think we have a pretty solid idea of what we're gonna build with these specialized pieces included in this Sonic package. Stay tuned because in a few days, I will actually be building the mock itself on video. I'll upload that video and then you yourselves can submit your own creations to a Make It More Eggman challenge for LEGO Sonic with LEGO Ideas. Thanks all for tuning into Duck Breaks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, thank you so much to the land for giving me such a fun and interesting activity. I cannot wait to get building and let's see you again very soon. Bye for now.